Hi there, Corey from Webflies BC. Today we'll be tying a pretty neat little squid that I thought up of uh, using a straw from a uh, pretty well-known restaurant in the world. Starts with an M. That's all the clue I'm giving you. That's what the straw looks like. I'm sure we all know what that straw, what store that straw is from. Anyway, I uh, built a real, real cool top piece for a squid and we're going to get started right away. So first off, what I have done here is used a Waddington shank or Waddington shank. I have connected it to a long shanked uh, hook. I tied all together. All of this is tied really tightly with big fly thread. Now after I had completed that I also added a rattle. I don't know if you can see it but there's a rattle in there as well. Um, to, uh, before all that, I, I connected a trailer loop system with the use of stainless steel um, plastic coated uh, uh, cable. And I had already pre-measured my legs and all kinds of stuff with the hook on here so I know uh, where to put everything and how long to cut everything because this is going to take a while anyway. So first off, what I'm going to use is a burnt orange marabou feather. I'd already taken off the top piece just to get rid of the top. And that's what it looks like. Kind of leaves it more bushier. Anyone who ties woolly buggers and stuff knows that that's a necessity as far as um, just having a really bushy fly. Now, I had pre-marked this as well on my hook with a little bit of nail polish. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but uh, this is what I made with that McDonald's McDonald straw. Oops, didn't mean to say that. Not endorsing them at all. Anyway, I uh, cut a piece of the straw that long from this. Kind of melted the end so it was tapered painted it with nail polish and also cut out a heart shape folded in half from another piece of the straw and then cut those pieces in half to add the little wings if you would of the squid and I uh, use clear cure goo that fine stuff to adhe adhere everything and I will be using it on top later on so this was all pre-measured and uh, we'll just keep going here and then we'll get to that part shortly. I'm going to lick this just a little bit. You can see my trailer loops in there. I put the marabou in. <clears throat> I'm going to add some DNA hollow fusion which is an orange maybe tangerine color now. Just to give it some flash. I'm going to add a lot of flash to this, to this fly. And I don't know if I can double this. Yeah, I might be able to. This is going to be kind of hidden under the legs of the fly anyway. And you double it over just you would, as you would any other fly. If it's not perfectly uh, centered, then just trim the excess. So we've got those two steps down. And now I'm going to add some orange. Polar UV. I love this stuff. It takes on all kinds of light in darker waters. UV is the kind of the new generation stuff. Um, it looks fantastic in the water. I'm going to build up a little bit of a, just a little bit of a ball here, overlapping a little, maybe two or three times, and tying that off. And that's what that's what the uh, rabbit zonker legs are going to come kind of ride over and we'll keep them keep them from staying straight back at all times so when you stop your retrieve of this fly which really is barely a fly but when you stop the retrieve the legs are going to kind of open up you know it'll, it'll make the fly look alive so I'm going to also add a tiny bit of copper flash at this point I don't know, maybe six strands, eight strands, just a little bit. Again, they'll be kind of, this will be kind of hidden in underneath all the legs because we're putting a bunch of legs on here. 
Now, I'm also going to add rubber legs to this, just because. And I have five. Again, this is a burnt orange kind of brown as well. I think they call them two-tone rubber legs. So I got five on each side of those. This thing might be a little bit of a chore to cast, but it's going to look really neat. Got the rubber legs. Now I picked out a different color of rubber legs, kind of a coffee, uh, Kelly green and coffee I call that. And these are going to be used as the, the tentacles is the best way I can describe them. But there's the color. Lots of flash. Sticks out and it's a different color than the rest. So there's that. Now what I have done is cut a whole bunch of rabbit zonkers in orange and they're barred and I'm going to try my best to get six of them on here. Like I said, once this fly is completed and it soaks up a lot of water, it's probably not going to be the best to cast with. But I've been thinking of this idea for quite some time and I'm really excited to show all of you um, how to make a squid with just materials I have laying around which I have a little bit of neat stuff but not a hundred whole bunch I'm just gonna turn my vise I had to put my vise my had to use my old vise and then put it upstairs here just so I could video in some sunlight for everyone to see and kind of a pain in the butt that I'm not using my Norvice. Get a Norvice, they're awesome. So I'm tying on the fifth leg. Squid, we all know have six, eight legs, sorry. I'm only tying six because like I said, this thing's going to be heavy enough as it is. And I need to almost get under there just to double check. I'm placing this last sixth leg in the right place. So there it is. As you can tell, any of you guys that cast, this thing's going to be a little bit of a chore to cast with. But I think I got it real close to a unique, uh, neat looking fly. So we got all that in. Um, probably going to go with a copper polar UV. Again, this UV is always purpley color to our eye. And it totally just helps take on all kinds of light when normally it would be really dark to see in the deeper parts of the ocean or the lake or wherever you would fish this. Now this is a very similar pattern to my squid patterns already except for this has got a lot more detail and my squid patterns if you check out www.webflies.com you'll see my squid patterns and they work for we're over 60 species now they work for in fresh and salt water something I totally made up quite proud of uh, anything from grouper to marlin to sailfish and I imagine this fly would be would do just the same you would just maybe have to use a little bit of thicker material so I know where my marker is here I can see it like I said I use nail polish to mark it, but you guys might not be able to see. I'm going as fast as I can here. What I'm going to do next is tie this off. This has become quite the fly already. Again, I'm using big fly or Kevlar thread just so I can put as much pressure as possible on this. <laughs> 